game changers. Hey guys, what's up? It is Amanda. I am back again with another video. Today's video is going to be kind of my overall experience with being a CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant. As you may or may not know, I am about to start nursing school in May and um, being a CNA is kind of what led me to my decision to go to nursing school. So I feel like it's a huge part of who I am and I wanted to kind of share my experience with you guys. So I have actually been a CNA for almost five years. Um, I got my CNA license my junior year of high school. Um, they offered a program through my high school where I was able to get my CNA license. All I had to do for that program was it was for one semester, it was the last hour of the day. And um, so instead of going to a normal class, I would go into a classroom with um, other kids from my high school and surrounding high schools and we would do the CNA course instead of a regular high school class. And then if we had lab or clinicals that day, then like afterwards we would go and do that. Um, if you don't have the option to get your CNA license through your high school, many technical colleges probably in your area have the program. I think most of them are like eight weeks long. It's super short, super easy, and then you just take um, a state survey or state tests and that's how you get officially licensed. Um, I said this in my pre-nursing tips and tricks video, which I will link down below if you wanna watch that. So as I stated in that video, a lot of nursing schools actually require you to become a CNA or it's just heavily like recommended that you become a CNA. Um, but also I know many people who just become a CNA and they just work as a CNA for their whole life, which there's honestly nothing wrong with. Um, Honestly, CNAs make the nursing world go round. There's a lot of nurses that I've worked with in the past that they wouldn't know anything about the residents without the help of the CNAs. Um, CNAs kind of, they're the ones who are upfront doing the most direct one-on-one -on -one care with the patients. They get to know the patients the most. They get to know the patients' families the most. They really truly like are the backbone behind healthcare and nursing in general. I know a lot of people think that CNAs just go around and help people go to the bathroom, but you're also helping them get dressed in the morning, take showers. Some of them you even have to help them eat and we're basically responsible for their day-to-day -day, like activities that they need to do to survive and live. Um, overall, being a CNA has been one of the most rewarding job I have ever had. So I have only worked as a CNA in a nursing home. Um, I have not had the opportunity to work in a hospital. There are opportunities for CNAs anywhere. You can work in a nursing home, work in a hospital, work at like an um, home health like company where you just go visit someone in their home and help them out. Um, there's honestly so many opportunities for CNAs out there. Um, one thing I will say though is a lot of nursing homes don't allow people to work if they're under the age of 18. Um, the place that first hired me when I was 17, um, I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to use the lifts by myself, not by myself because most of you can't use any of them by yourself. Um, they hire people who are under 17 but I couldn't use the lifts without someone who was 18 with me. Um, most of the lifts require two people, but it couldn't be two 17 year olds doing it. We had to have someone who was a legal adult. One thing that I wanted to add to this video is just to say that my favorite nurses that I've ever worked with are the ones who have been CNAs because they understand what the CNAs are going through and they help out all the time and they're so incredibly helpful and they don't take us for granted. And I've worked with countless nurses who just don't appreciate CNAs and what they do for healthcare and it's a shame because I feel like getting your CNA you learn so much more than they can teach you in nursing school and I know I haven't even started nursing school yet but I've, I'm so excited to see like what things I've learned as a CNA are going to help me within nursing. One of the main reasons why you should be a CNA is it's a great way to get started within the healthcare field. Um, I know that being a CNA is the reason that I decided on nursing as a career um, throughout being a CNA. You can obviously just do the minimum, but I try to go out of my way to ask nurses if I can watch wound changes, um, watch them change IVs, change catheters, change um, 
ostomy bags. Um, where I work now, we have, the CNAs actually do take the vitals for everyone, which has been something really fun to do and learn how to do. My work schedule is a little kind of all over the place. Um, I'm not employed part-time or full-time. I am PRN or PERC or per diem or whatever. I usually pick up more than that though, but it's really nice for school because I can be like, okay, I have an exam coming up this week, so I'm not going to work this week. I'm going to pick up shifts for next week. So I also get the opportunity to work AMs and PMs. I have not worked any knocks at this job. Um, the last place that I worked, I did work a few and they're pretty easy. Nothing too difficult about them. Where I work now, there's actually a long-term care floor and a rehabilitation floor. For people who have had fractures or other health issues that are just there for rehab. The rehab floor is a lot different than your typical nursing home because patients are constantly in and out of the place. Um, a lot of times they don't need as much help with their day-to-day -day activities as on the long-term care floor. However, on the long-term care floor, you really get to know your patients more. So I like, both, I like working in both. I also like that I'm just kind of thrown in there whenever I arrive to my job. I don't know which floor I'm going to be working on that day. So it kind of keeps me on my feet. I think in that aspect, it's kind of similar to a hospital where it's a little bit different every day whenever I go in I don't know what to expect so yeah overall I would 100% recommend becoming a CNA um, if you have any interest in healthcare or nursing or even being a doctor honestly like um, it's a great way to see healthcare firsthand and to find out if it's truly what you want to do I know I also said this in I think my pre-nursing video um i had a friend who she thought she wanted to do nursing and she started this cna course and she hated it and is not doing nursing anymore hi megan i know you're watching this i don't really have anything else to add i know this video was completely all over the place um i kind of tried to write down what i wanted to say but i felt that i would just kind of start rambling on about cna um stuff is just something that I'm really passionate about and I absolutely love my job and when I start I'm leaving my job in a few weeks because I have to start nursing school and they really recommend that you don't work during it so I am actually so sad to not be a CNA but I'm so excited to start nursing so that is it for today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe um, also comment below if you have any ideas for other nursing videos you want to hear from me, any more information you want about being a CNA. Um, I'll try to comment back, try to maybe make a video of it. So in a few weeks I'm going to be graduating from college and that's absolutely terrifying and then I move home and then I start nursing school so pretty soon my real nursing school videos are coming, I promise. Um, in the meantime you'll get some moving vlogs, uh, maybe some like a vlog or something at graduation. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!